lose and fight for your friends. Fight through this blight, find the light at the end. Through the age of the dragon, the people will talk of the day they were saved by a hero named Hawk. We are we we were at Mirabar when we last finished. I know that Michael closed the that for him. Whoops. We did a lot of shopping. Um, was that in Mirabar? We did the big adventure in the in the in the in the mines. We found now some equipment. Close, we sold a bunch of stuff. The closest city to where you had adventured was Mirabar. Okay. So that's where we did all that that big selling and trading and that sort of final that final adventure. So remember, we did we did one game, no, no fighting. It was just yeah business. <laughs> where is Mirabar on the map? Uh, by the okay. spine of the world. Spine of the spine of the world. So by the spine okay, of the world. Okay, go up to Luskin and hang around. No, no, I was just I was just missing it when I was scanning through. Your plan was after you made your determination. You think the best way to. The determination was to go to Neverwinter. Okay. Might be your best bet nearby to try to send Elena home. And failing Neverwinter would be Waterdeep. So it's on the way, right? If, you're, if first. you are going to take the high road, Neverwinter is on the way. If you were going to take the back way, the long road, you could take the long road and avoid Neverwinter. And, you know, not go down the coast. You know, you can go either down the coast or you have to choose which side of the mountains you're basically going to go down. If you're, the, the, zoomed in, if you're zoomed in a mirror bar, there's two roads coming off of two main roads. I said we don't go near the water because I rust. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm the only local person, so, like, not, they, none, of, none of them know this yet, right? Well, they don't I know didn't... where these places are, and they don't know the choices of road to what people are telling you. And they're like, well, if you go that way, you can get to both of them. If you can go that way, you can only get the water deep. Or we can cut across the Neverwinter Woods. You could. And you could always... Do that and annoy your DM, but yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I lost my last party there. Why not lose this one? <laughs> the DM, the DM the noise decides noise 60 hours yeah. there. Take the long road, and then when you get past out of the mountains into the little valley, you can head towards the woods. Sure. Absolutely. You can go any way you want. Well, I think the, the logical choice is to take the long road. To Luskin and then to Neverwinter, and that would be a place to stop. That's and you can you can stay in. That's the you can stay road. in ends. That's the high road. What do you guys think? I mean, that's probably where, knowing these guys, they can handle themselves. I'm thinking lightning just, train, but that's just me. <laughs> I mean, we we didn't gives, put that in yet. If it gives us the chance to hit both cities, then yes, let's go that way. Yeah, that's fine. No airships. No um, airships. No lightning trains. I tell you what, if we see an airship a train along the way, we, we can hop on. <laughs> yeah. like, like stepping teleporters, you got those here, right? Those are common. Or it's like, sure, if we see these along the way, I have no idea what they're talking about. What, what a train is. He knows what lightning is. <laughs> All right, Michael, real quick, you need, to, you need to roll up a new character. You need to roll up one of those uh, crafter artisan Artificers. Artificers. Yeah. Tinkerer, from Eberron. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, yeah, just, right. Just, just and get him to level 20 quick. Yeah. <laughs> just, I have to make the new cities, the flying cities in, in, in this world. Yep. There's a flying city in this world. There is? Well, there is. Take it down. Didn't it crash? Didn't we crash that one? No. That's a well, yes. No. <laughs> but, but I think it was hollow or something like that. So actually, that's a good question. Is this world the same world as your both other games, or is it a different no. universe? Okay. 
This is a completely different universe. It is not in concert with Brendan or Mike's. Which means, yeah, that, I, I, which means the dragon is still available to take stuff from. There's no Krasny. This is a krasny world. <laughs> what a shame. It's a sad day. It is. Well, actually, it's King Krasny Redbeard of the Dwarves. <laughs> This is 300 years after, and he's still alive. Talking about that one time he killed a dragon. <laughs> uh, All right, yeah, I say the city's way. Okay. Yeah, me, me too. It just you guys want to meet people, you want to meet fun, magic users, so that makes the most sense. Okay. So we're gonna fast forward to the first stop which would be your choice either luskin or blackford crossing luskin's bigger than blackford crossing it's only 15 feet wow but you can <laughs> shoot yeah, well, because this is a five foot map uh, that's, just, I don't know. that's just the D D beyond what that is is it's about According to the scale, come on, boy, I am so laggy. I would say, I'm gonna get rid of that. It's 15 feet, I can make that in half a movement. <laughs> Actually, it turns out that about every five, every 10 feet is about 100 miles if you go by that. Oh. I'm just saying, so about 150 miles. Okay, that works. It's about that. And we go, what, like 20, 25 a day? Something yeah, like something like that. That's pretty close to Force March. I guess we're not an army. Oh, well, technically, we are an army. Yeah, we five people? You've all served. I mean, yeah. Like six, except me. Well, it's like Coast Guard. <laughs> Coast Guard. <laughs> right, I believe we all have uh, conscription rights, if you want. Well, it's draft. I'm good. I don't want to go to your world. Sounds crazy. All right, yeah, so I don't know if anything, is there any random encounters between here and Luskin, Jim, or just pick it up in We're Luskin? i pick it up in Luskin in one second. I'm doing something quick. Uh-oh. It's good. This is we have basically uh, five, <laughs> seven, seven, we have a week, uh, about a week or so to try out our new equipment, practice any kind of techniques we want. It, it makes sense for all the level, we all leveled up, so that's sort of Get where we my practice bears. our level up stuff. All right, see I put a grid on? Mm -hmm. That's a 100 mile box. Okay. Got it. Because the scale's in 100 miles, so. It's a weak box. So it's, you know, it's like little, little and less. you know, it's, it's just giving you a point. It's about uh, a little over 100 miles between Luskin and Everwinter, a little over 100 miles between Mare Bar and Luskin. Okay? Um, I just put a grid on the map to make life. Do you want the map, Mike, or no? Michael O? Yes. Yeah, because you closed it. Thanks, then. Remember, you can drag a map to your hot bars to get it back. And you have an extra hot bar and shift, control, alt, control, alt, control, shift, alt, shift. There's a lot of hot bars. Yeah, I'm still on the, the primary bar. I remembered that. Right. The primary bar, by the way, those numbers are the F keys. All right. So, like me for F1, it's actually D100. I might probably get rid of a lot of these maps because. I don't think we're going to use them anymore. Probably not. Also, I found out if you minimize, like right click and minimize, it'll put a circle on your screen. You can put that anywhere and bring the map back, but it will not remember where that is between sessions. You can still put it in the hot bar. But if you want to minimize a map and have it quickly get it back, you can do that. You can do that with almost anything, but not the combat track for the same reason. Ah. I think the party shoot also. Right. I think anything that's got buttons in the top corner, in the top right corner, you can't minimize. But this way, if you're flipping between two maps and you don't want to keep going to the hot bar, you can do that. So 
So anyway, you're in Luskin. Besides repl re replenishing your uh, dwindling rations and supplies, except for your Warforge, is there anything there you're looking for? Since you bought out everything it was possible you could get at Miramar. Wizard, send me home. Not available. I said go south, young man. Damn. Or woman. Go south, girl. Do you want to see if we can buy passage to Temperwinter? It might be quicker, or we don't care. I mean, I don't care either way. It's another it's week. What, it's 100 miles, yeah. I mean, would it really be faster by boat? I don't think so. I will make one comment. In the bag of holding in your party, Elena has. Oh, I already said that, like, I'm going to give it back. That was bought with party funds, so. Okay. The, the plan is to hand it off to Bugs, but I'm holding on to it whilst I'm still here. Okay. The only thing I can think of is, let me double check if I have an attunement slot still. I think I was trying to find a ring of protection and we couldn't find one in Mirror Bar. I mean, I could look for one in Luskin, but it's a long shot. I don't think they would have it there. Well, we will see. This is one of the bigger cities on the continent. Actually, I have nothing attuned right now, so I have plenty of attunement slots. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. These characters have, like, very little. <laughs> I, I got decent items. They're just not attuned items. They're generic. They're, they're low-level items. Uh, Longbow plus two is pretty nasty. Wanda magic missiles. That sounds good. Like Where'd you get a longbow plus two? <laughs> uh, mirror bar last week. That's the well, last time we played. That's pretty good for fourth level. For fifth, but yeah. For fifth level? Yes. I don't think Michael Mike got the email. Um, Daniel. Yes. Drop a. Oh. Why don't you drop, let's say, 5d10 in the dice tower? All right. One, two, three, four, five. Into the dice tower or into the uh... ice tower? Because if you get all ones, he's going to raise it. <laughs> no, it's just a thing. I suppose it. Oh, I am fifth level. I'm right, good. I'm fifth level in DNT. Be on my Uh, you. There actually is a ring of protection for sale. I hesitate to ask, but I'll ask what they're looking for, how much they want for it. 2100 gold. Ooh. How much do we have in the party coffer? Hey, where's gold on our characters? Well, the party coffer we're thinking is going to be pretty much spent on who wants to go back. Uh, that's yeah. true. That's true. And then we spent, uh, we sold a lot of things to get your uh, now, combo. In the first week we were here, we made boatloads of money. So I'm figuring in a week from Luskin to Neverwinter, we're probably going to make a boatload more. <laughs> where Where is money on these character sheets? I'm, okay, I can't find equipment. Coinage. It's on your equipment tab. Equipment. Inventory. Inventory. Inventory tab. It's at the bottom. Oh, okay. At the bottom ah. gives you your coinage. Oh, oh good. I have 3,000 gold pieces. If left. you go so, to, yeah. by the way, the party sheet, and you go on the inventory tab there, it'll show the parties. I can pay this out of pocket. 2100 you said, right? Right. Yeah, I will I will pay him 2100 gold. I'm not even I'm not even happy with this part. This part wouldn't. You have almost 18,000 gold in just yep. gold for the party. Right. Is it can you mechanically like do like minus 2100 or have to do the math and then type it over? Math time. It's okay. math, but do you so want I can do that. Minus 2100? Yeah, I can do the math. I just... 1206 would be your answer. He's an accountant. He can do math. I, I can do it. I just didn't know if there was a button for it. <laughs> he can do arithmetic, damn it. <laughs> he can't do any math, but he can do arithmetic. <laughs> Technically, I have a degree in accounting, but I'm not an accountant. Oh, okay. I haven't, done, I haven't done accounting in 23 since you graduated. Since 95. 
Okay, so let me uh, throw this on your sheet. Please. Um, and actually, you said it was 2,100 15. gold? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I just took my gold down. I didn't touch it, but I used my own money not the party line. 12006 wouldn't be correct. You were looking at silver, Jim. Was I? 1206 is right. It's, it's, it's silver, copper, gold is the order. No. Gold was the far right. Far right. Like 3,000. It's. It is on his sheet. Oh, I thought you were looking on the party sheet. No, 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 no. he's looking at my sheet. I'm looking at his personal sheet. Oh, okay. It's, it's his man. Platinum. Right. It, it goes platinum, silver, gold, mithril, copper, electrum for some reason. Don't ask me why I put it in that order in his sheet. I was looking on, on the party sheet, and the number you gave almost matched up with what what silver would have looked like if you removed that. I gotta get two more rings and I can make him another ring ring bearer. <laughs> <laughs> ring of protection. And you're adding it to the character sheet. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to find I put it on your character sheet. I'm just trying to find where it is it on your character top. sheet. Uh, I think it usually adds oh, it to the bottom of the inventory list. To, no, to the, did it come in as um it gets un thing. unidentified? Yeah, it comes in unidentified. That's why I was trying to find it. There. <laughs> it's there now. I see. So it came and in as a signet ring. That's yeah, so it wasn't under R. It automatically alphabetizes it when you put it on the character sheet. Oh, okay. So it doesn't like, it didn't come in under R as ring of protection, it came under S as signet ring, and I was just looking for it. To, I don't my, my AC didn't go up when I did that. Do I have to like attune it or something? And you have to manually do it manually. You have to no, wear it. Really? You have to wear yeah. it. Is it. Does it show the little bag icon to the right? It's got to say uh, uh, carried. Let's see. I changed it to. And now I lost it again. That's the issue. So it'll work anyway. That's Luskin. So you're in Luskin. He, um, Brendan has found six crazy people to convert. <laughs> um, a living robot. All, all six of, of them seem called. to be living in the same house. All of, which, all of which call the god a different name. Uh -huh. Just be glad when the god appears, just hope you're not eating popcorn. <laughs> to a bucket of cockroaches. It's chaos. Anyway, so you found a ring of protection at Luskin. You found no wizard competent enough to do what you're asking. Um. So, are you hiring a coach or something as bugs suggest? These, these guys are trying to find a train, so... There is no train. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm good either way, but I'm like, oh, I don't know. Do we just... I don't know how much quicker it is. I mean, if it's, if it's a week for us to get there on foot, and it's going to be four days for us by transportation, there's not much reason to do it. But if we can get there in a day... It's also more comfortable, isn't it? I mean, you just basically sit on your butt all day versus on the walk. Yeah. We're soldiers. All we do is walk. Right. I mean, co coaches, coaches in, in real life typically drove, went about 40 miles. But we it would be caravan because it would be from city to city. We'd have to yeah. hook up with, we're not going to just get a cab. <laughs> uh, but what, would uh, would these giant robots even be allowed? I mean, when they look at them and say no, how much do you guys weigh? A lot. How big? How big is Armin and H one P U? Huh? How, how big, big are they? They're big. Oh. Armin's what um, six seven feet? I'm I'm six foot seven. I weigh three hundred and six pounds. Like a metal without, my arm, without my armor. <laughs> He, he's a big boy. Oh, brother. 
I'm good. Okay. I'm a I ranger. I'm good. Welcome to give her one so I can cast a spell by the time I leave third turn. Say that again. Uh, so I'm trying to teach them how to cast Toll of the Dead. Right. <laughs> on on like cockroaches and rats, right? Take care of the infestation in the house. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I get it. I gave you an inspiration for it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what do you? Uh, it's the best I can do. I didn't. I didn't spot you giving me the inspiration. <laughs> you should. Uh, you should. To the toll of it, should teach him um, spare the dying. Stomp on a cockroach and then spare the dying. Well, spare the dying is actually a first level spell. Uh, He's trying. Oh, to it was a oh no, it's not. You're right. It's a cantrip. It's I a will. Cantrip. Well, no. If any of them get hurt, I will attempt spare the dying on them. <laughs> Don't cast it on each other. They, they can get hurt. That could be arranged. They can. I'm also casting guidance on them too. Do you want to jump higher? Here, guidance. You got this, you got this, you got this. I don't know how long we were going to be there. I guess I should have played for money, but... Played what for money? Oh, your coin, your, uh... My horrible instruments. Uh, oh, you're, you're going to try to play for money? Yeah, he's terrific as long as he doesn't have an audience. Hey, I'll use it to get information when we need it, but right now we didn't need any information. <laughs> right. I thought that was pretty smart, taking the, <laughs> the, all the wrong information and having people correct me. <laughs> so, so I think the problem is this, this, this city has no, or this world so far has no artificers or anyone that is trained in like common magic. Right. It's an artificer. <laughs> Pretty poor point, here. Point proven. Right. Yeah, well, we're from everyone knows magic. Everything is magic. We have yet to encounter a magic user. Yeah, like farmers in our world, no basic cantrips. Right. The lamplighters, the lamplighters, no cantrips. Yeah, they know the light. They know the light cantrip. Farmers know like mending and stuff, or mold, or mold earth. You know, they can move things. Yeah, I'm not here. You're telling me you have to use this item to, to till the dirt. You, you can't just cast a spell. What is this? It's a backwards world, is what it is. Let's get you home, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so much more money here. Well, actually, there's probably not. It's just not in the hands of few people. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That is very true. Let me just put you guys on the map. There's no big business in this world. There's not really any big cities either. Nope. There's no big cities either. No giant crime families. Yeah, like, where, where are the crime families? You guys haven't seen uh, uh, Waterdeep yet. It's a pretty big city. I'll talk it up. I'll, I'll talk it up as much as I can. Although I know, I know they're gonna be disappointed. But you know, <laughs> the Martin, it's huge. You call this a big city? It's a township. Let me look at your party sheet. On the party sheet, on your order, is that order still correct? Uh, how do we look at the party sheet? Order. Party sheet is. The top most right button next to the combat tracker. Uh, what, the one that looks like a little right above the yeah, Looks good to me. Yeah, it works. Uh, Armin, Barton, Bugs. Okay. So we shall. We shall put it in. We shall put you in that. In the. I, I, I guess the one thing I would ask, though, right? If is the marching order, we're walking south. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Should bugs? Right. I'm, 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 I'm assuming this is as if you were going north. I get that. Because I'm usually more ranged, and you're usually more hand to hand. Are you? Well, well, that's why I'm asking. If it's going north, right, then Barton well, and gotta, bugs should reverse with yeah, Elena no, no. and Armin. No, no. Right. It was no. set up as if we were heading down on the. the Correct. Front gotcha. Front. Okay. The two tanking the tank, is up front. The tank and the DPS are up front. DPS. Damage, Damage per, second. per second. 
I have the movement to get wherever we need. Right. Me too. I can go 45 in the first round, so. Well, I thought it. too you wanted to keep distance, so. That's true. I, I like distance, but I can make distance too. And we were keeping the healer in the middle. Yeah, and dark vision makes sense as well. The sometimes healer. A lot of sometimes healers. And if we need stabby stabby in the back, I'm there too. No. Every now and then I slip out the power of grace home. Right. <laughs> Try that shatter thing, that was nasty. You have the map? Yes. Yep. We're at the crossroads. Right. Wasn't that the restaurant up in Brewster? Might have been. It went up on, uh, on Route 6. Or route yeah, 6. The yeah, no, Route 6. Flying, flying darts and. and uh, or chicken parts and flying darts or something like that. Yeah. Wasn't that their mascot? Yeah. Armado. It's a good place. I thought it closed though. It that doesn't look good. It did a couple times. <laughs> it looks closed. Everybody, I'm gonna go take a quick pee and while I'm doing that, drop a perception in the uh, dice roll. Dice tower. Should take us that long to figure out where perception is. Oh, and skills. Yep, I got it. I'm noticing that my AC is wrong. It's not supposed to be 31. That looks wrong. <laughs> why, why, do they, why do they keep missing? <laughs> Fraser wishes he had that AC. <laughs> yeah, honestly, 31 is impressive. Uh, Martin's weakness was his AC sucked. But he just got it to that ring is nineteen. That's not bad. better than mine. Still, still, yeah, that's that's what I'm at. <laughs> that's way it's, better than mine, and I go yeah. into combat. It's well, higher. I've so got nineteen, I. so that's why I'm looking I, for better armor. But I'm also only wearing splint mail right now. Yeah, I have seventeen. I would like to find better armor, but we got to get look for a ring too. Well, we got to get these guys back first. Then we're gonna make all the money we need. Come on, we get rich in like a week. This is not a problem. <laughs> You need to be alive for that week, you know? I should, said, I, I should ask the guy that, too. This is... I, I've taken less damage here than I had in the army. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just rearranged the party formation in the party sheet to, as if you were going north. Okay. As it makes life easier. Now, north is, by the way, to the left. To the left. We're heading south. So we're heading you south. are heading south. Got it. I'm do, I'm, the reason I'm doing that here is all the maps in this adventure are orientated that way, like a dwarf made them. In Got Tolkien. it. <laughs> if you yeah. actually read Tolkien maps, north is not up yeah. if it's a dwarf map. So I'm just keeping with the how this adventure is written, okay? So, except for the Sword Coast map, that's actually north south like normal because it's you know, We're so I'm just keeping to it. That's so, fine. what do we have? Okay, hmm, okay. Oh, order. I was looking at the main tab in the party sheet, that's why I was confused. <laughs> I thought it was, thought it was Armin, then Martin, then Bug. Oh, uh, we're okay here. There's no water, so Barton's going to be fine. I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> Don't say anything yet, Dan. Give me a second. Okay, you two. <laughs> you can say something. Okay. I see or smell orcs. Um, Oh, okay, I guess that was that was coming to Dan and me. Yes. Because I also got it. You didn't mention my name. <laughs> so I got confused. That's why I said you too. So I figured okay. you'd figure out who number two was. I've, this, well, with you, you never know. Um, oh, yeah. What direction? Oh, was pretty... Michael O was really a number two. <laughs> smell, smell or hear? How am I sensing them? Uh, well, they're popping out from the bushes to the south of you. <laughs> Everyone roll an initiative. You two are not surprised. The other three are. Okay. You rolled. The other three guys rolled very poorly. Perception. 
is but a flesh wound. We were having deep uh, discussions. Hey, I'm still rolling low. Big four, big four. Uh, initiative, there it is. And Barton has 25. Jesus. Oh, he has plus. plus nine. He's a freaking ambusher. <laughs> he better be first. <laughs> <laughs> just take the alert feet and never go last again. Nat one. Oh, just, just a 15 on a nat one. Hey, Jim. Uh-huh. So, real quick, cool would we have had a day's rest between the town and this, or no? Yes, you're rested. Okay, I just gotta find out, because I was actually blowing spell levels. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, yes, no, you, you were. All, my spells. You are all rested. This is a couple days out. It is a couple days out. So, out of these woods to the west of you some arrows come flying nothing hits because barton's got the best initiative <laughs> so barton jack you are up on round one so question this thing that says crossroads is that a building i could take cover behind no that is just the name of the map i don't know why they put it there but is there ruins or anything else there's some kind of ruins oh, we'll call it ruins you can take cover behind it sure so there is no, I didn't put line of sight in this map. I just pulled this out of my butt right now. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go to here's 20 feet to here. So tell me if you approve that. I do approve it. I shall click the approve. There you oh, go. Yep, there you go. Perfect. And then I'm going to take my first shot, then my second shot, and then my dread ambush shot. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Got a, was it, it's control to target, right? Uh, control click. There you go. He's within range. Oh, I forgot school does range for you. I forgot. Uh, and then long go plus two. Okay. Nice. That'll nice. work. Yeah. Okay. 32. No extra special stuff. Uh, not on that one. No, the first shot, the first and second shot are normal. The third shot has an extra D8 on top of it. You rolled a nat 20. I saw that, yeah. So you're just doing double yeah. dice, you're not doing special effect. Do your damage for that. You got. Okay. You can't stack them up and do them later like in roll 20. You gotta do every attack one at a time. All right, you killed Orc 11. Okay, so second shot then. It's gonna be on that Orc. Orc can, sure. Oh, another that 20. <laughs> Boy, he, what a way to start the day. There's no order around. He's fine. <laughs> okay, he is critically injured. Okay, I guess right, you're, you're I'll finish him. Up. No, actually, no. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to move to this guy. And this is the Dread Ambush shot. This one has the extra damage. Okay. Nat 20. So, we should remember that, yeah. Big Nat 20. Ooh, only, you only hit. Okay. There's your base damage, and then how do I do the trade ambush again? I think we set that up because it. Yeah, I don't see it anymore. The D8 set up for a trade ambush. Oh, here it is down here. Effect. Ah. Did that work? No, you had to put oh, it on before the shot. Trade ambusher before you rolled. Let me take his damage off and let you roll the damage again. Okay. Roll the damage again. So click to an ambush, sure. So you did it once, is right. Okay, and then do the damage. Yes. No. Did I have Click it twice. Click it once and roll the damage. Once. Damage. Now roll the damage. Of course, I can roll the one. You rolled the one the first time. Okay. Two. Uh, no, something's wrong with your Dread Ambusher. Yeah, it didn't take it. I'll just roll a D8. How's that? Let's roll a D8. A two. Roll that for two points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the problem is. But you started off really strong, but it kind of went down from there. No, no, what the problem is? The target yeah. is on the self. Ah. Not... You can Dread Ambush yourself. Yeah. Uh, I, I just right, we're gonna, you know, and then 
the rest of my move is to here. Right. That's fine. And I'm just, just do me a favor. Roll the dread ambush yeah. on him again. Let me just check his down. What sure. order is that? Twelve. Okay. This time when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Click dread ambusher. Now roll damage. Dread ambusher, damage. Back to the floor. Uh. Does that work? No, I don't think it's, yeah. no. You're just gonna have to roll a d8 on it. I'll have to fix it. I'm not gonna fix it now. Yeah, that's fine. He All took right. the first one, so he took 11 plus the two, so he took 13. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll take care of it. All right. Got it. He hey, is you got, injured. But you gotta finish. Approve my move. I shall. I'm done. You are done. I'm done. Okay. Orc three. There's more orcs behind us. Well, behind you. Yep. Orc three is targeting Barton Jack. You guys see orc three or no? Huh? Yep. Is everybody okay? Everyone can see him now because he popped up. <laughs> And he just misses. He now won. Orc five. What is the oh? 65 feet. What's the range of the javelin? Anyone know? Let me see. Range of a javelin? Hold on. 31 20s. That's a long range. So he gets disadvantage. Does it do it on that before? It probably would. I'm not sure. What he's going to do is he's going to charge. I forgot to send him over short bows. So he is just gonna go. He's gonna move right there and not attack. I didn't see anybody move. I don't see him. I think he's coming oh, from wait, the side. Wait, wait. There. Oh, there he is. He came running to there. He dashed to there. I'm engaged. Okay, Bugs is surprised this round. So it's nothing? Nothing. Okay. Uh, I will advance the turn tracker. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, sorry. I was looking for... I clicked, I clicked before the don't. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I, I don't consider us uh, skipping our turns. It's us allowing them to see how strong they've grown. Ah. Uh. We'll finish our conversation, then we'll fight. Exactly. <laughs> Martin, relax. It's just orcs. Why are you rushing into this thing? <laughs> we okay. just slaughtered them. We just slaughtered a bunch in their own base. This is no threat. Or ten. Or ten is truly aggravated. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, why. I I should have finished him off, but I thought he was so weak, and I could maybe take it all one down in a single shot. I didn't waste. I don't want to waste my dread ember shot, but that was a bad call. Yeah, because you figured you could drop two and hurt one. Yeah. All right. So dread amp. So dread amp. Or ten runs to there. <laughs> they are He's ambushing us. Big metal monster in front of him, and throws a javelin at him, Ooh, which hits. And does 600 damage. It's a special javelin. It's because he ran up too fast, too far. Yeah. It or wasn't a legal javelin match. throw. What do you effing do? Orc 8. He definitely crossed that line. Which you will now see. The orcs have aggression, can't they? A double on that first turn or something? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's as a bonus action. action. Yeah, dash. I could. All right. I could have attacked you. Or Gates might attack Elena. 
No, no, Orcades down here. Oh, because I was just running orcs last week, so that's fresh in my mind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And throw a javelin at you. Who's orc gate? I don't. Okay, that guy. Yes. They're coming out of the woodwork. They're coming out of the woodwork. They are everywhere. Within 30 feet. That one. <laughs> He rolls two nat 20s. And they roll two nat 1s. And he is dazed. Martin's got his his uh, main character shield up, apparently. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. Uh, what was that thing again? Hitchhiker's Guide, it was like the... Uh, What are you talking about? The what? It's like the sphere of main characterness or something, or uh, what was it called again? Or twelve. That's this guy down here. He's going. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a half. He's going for squishy money. Oh. <laughs> Little does he know. Bring it. I'm looking at this thing aggressive. I said, oh, "What the hell's aggressive?" I'm not going to look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> of course, they're aggressive. They're orcs. <laughs> it's a cool feature. It is a cool. It's, feature. A, it's like charge. On their first, as a bonus, <laughs> as a bonus action, you can move over. This, you know, it basically gets an extra. It gets a dash every. As a bonus action, it, may, it can make a dash. Right. Good. It's a great and ability for most. This is bugs. That missed. Now, Orc 6, who is over here, it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And he's going to go for the squishy girl. Elena, it's a miss. Or 26. We should let them all go back into their hiding places and try this again. They're not being very successful. <laughs> Orc 26 is just going to move here and throw a spear at... Is it here? No, here. And throw a spear at Stinky. He's not getting in close. He's seeing these people aren't hidden well. They are well coordinated. Huh? They are well coordinated. And he misses. All right, finally. Armin. All right. Sorry, so buddy, I, I was originally going to help you, but this orc needs to die. Oh, I agree. Don't worry about me. Who died? I approve that move. Good. I forget to target. Oh, I know. Totally. Well, <laughs> uh, this one's pretty hurt. And that's a wolf. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah. Uh, that was okay. which one? Ten. Yeah. We remove ten. Finish my move. Okay. And I don't I don't get my second attack after a move, right? If you have two attacks around, you get your second attack anytime you want it. Okay. In that case. You, you can do it now. He did come help you. <laughs> Just pause to kill somebody. Right. <laughs> All right. And now is Orc five. He yes, is a solid hit. Okay. Uh, 18 was my damage. 23 no, was my that, hit. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. I meant that's a solid hit right there. 
Yeah, it's also a dead orc. Really? <clears throat> five's dead? Oh, yep. Yeah, five is dead. Uh -oh. I'll be right back. Nice. Yep. Orc five, uh... He ran over. He gets, maybe he's fifth level. He has two attacks around now. Yeah, me too. Well, what I'm saying is that he uses second attack. Oh no, I I, I appreciate it. Yes. I Means I can use my bow and not have to go to melee. You gotta but not go away. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to experience it. Okay. Orc 17. I don't know why he's... He's going there, and he is... throwing javelin at Squishy Money. I don't know why he's got Barton Jackson. And we can't see who they're targeting, so... Yeah. I don't see oh, 17 on the map. I didn't move Orc 17, I moved Mark Orc 3. I don't see 17 on the map. I, I moved the wrong Orc. Orc 17 is way in the back. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay, I said to zoom out. I zoomed in too far. I no, I'm saying is I moved the wrong orc. I was like, huh? What's going on? This is orc seventeen. On yeah, when we first came in, I thought they were also south of us, but my combat tracker was blocking some. <laughs> These orcs didn't say hello, they didn't try and talk. Right to the right to the now, You guy you don't care about that. Everyone else here does because orcs are just player character races in Epperon. <laughs> they're, they're normal people, they're like just farmers in our world. Okay. He is throwing a javelin at the hammer. And I miss and he missed. This is supposed to be a challenge rating five. <laughs> Cal. Oh, great existence broken. Probably because there's a bunch of orcs, but they're just not hitting. <laughs> Orc 14. Go in there, and he's going to go for stinky. Because he sees the big metal thing, and he doesn't think the rabbit is big enough to share. Or maybe do that. Actually, he's not even a rabbit yet. He was surprised, so he's still human, right? Yeah, he missed. And he misses Stinky. But yes, I'm not full on rabbit yet. Orc 16. But you're still fuzzy, aren't you? Yeah. I'm rabbit-ish. These guys are everywhere. I'm not full wear rabbit. He's got to throw a javelin. At the big mean guy that killed two of Bad mean. Yeah, you. Yeah, and the little mean guy that killed two of them. Yeah, the big mean guy that killed two of them. He actually hits. Uh, I know which one is dying next. No, did it, it hit you, right? Yeah. All right, one 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 it, it worked. Hit. I didn't target you properly. Uh, but if you drag. I, forget, I just read this. If you drag something a roll from the chat window onto the combat tracker where you want it, it adds it. Oh, okay, cool. So you could take that attack roll. You just I dragged the die and dropped it on you, and it showed twenty one hit. So here's your damage. I said, here's your damage. Stupid <laughs> dice not rolling. Ooh. Thirteen points. Oh, that's a solid hit. A good yeah, solid he's, he's, hit, yeah. Wait a minute, you did, you did great axe damage. He threw a javelin. He threw a great axe. Oh, he threw a javelin? Sorry. I, he, I, if he oh. threw his great axe, then he's disarmed. That works. Yeah, he took five points. That's, I'll disarm him in a second. Both arms. Probably add the 13 back. Yeah, I'm taking... Don't worry. <laughs> I was, I was totally right. 
Christ. I, I wasn't worried that he wasn't going to do that. That orc is still I, dying next. Okay, Elena still bleh. HP1 bleh. Okay, round two. Go, Barton Jax. Everyone is active this round. Alrighty, so no more dread ambush, but I get my regular stuff. Me, the rabbit, and the robot are still having a conversation. There's like axes and javelins <laughs> flying by our head. I we also have orcs in our faces now, so. One on the combat tracker. I, well, now we're paying attention. We're like, oh, sorry, I, I, I roll damage. I'm a throw to hit. Not wise one with advantage. Uh, which one? Uh, the one I'm pointing to, eight. I rolled with advantage. I don't know why. Because eight is stunned. Okay, well eight. that's correct then. Eight was 16. stunned. That one that it showed up as a stun, so I decided to give it to him. You rolled it's two fours six. and still got a sixteen to hit. <laughs> so do your damage. Uh, I did it first by accident, so did it apply or no? Uh, I don't know. What was the average? It's yeah, I think it needs to work eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it I think. Yes, I don't want to do it twice. No, it applied. Is he still so kicking or no? Hmm? He is he still it, kicking? Is he still kicking? Oh, yeah, he's up. I'll take my second shot at him then, too. Okay. For the correct order this time. A two and a four. Okay. And I still hit, I think. He still hit him with a four, sure. Four hits him. Two hit. And he is dying. Thunk. I put, I, it's not impressive. I put two hours in a stun door, but hey. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. And um, I'll stay next to Armin. I'm done. He not won because when he went to throw the javelin, he pulled it back and poked himself in the eye with that thing of the javelin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're done? I'm done. Orc three. Which one's Orc three? Up by the rocks. Up by the rocks. Ah. Orc three is coming screaming in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Barton Jack's great axe. Barton great axe. <laughs> that was my dog. <laughs> this is. <laughs> See that? Attack 15, defensive should, effect plus I'll one. I'll be right back. I think the dog is uh, crying uncle. Ah. It's, it's, it's your carpet, not mine. You got to stay. <laughs> what were you saying about attack, defense, plus one? If you see defense effect plus one missed, that's your brain. I don't see it, but oh, I... Oh, you don't see it. I'm sorry. Let me... Uh... It shows yeah. up on the thing, you see? Yeah, I did you. I, I hide all the hits and misses because of things like bard inspiration and stuff like that. Because you got to make the decision before you know whether you hit or not. Whether to use your, a bardic inspiration or a... You know what I'm saying? So I don't show you what happens. I tell you. But see, it's it's in there that you have a defensive effect of plus one. Thank you. I'm just... I'm showing you it's working. I believe you. I just want you to know. Okay. He missed. Uh... Oh well, bugs. Yep. He's in the, he's a dead orc, that poor guy. <laughs> mm. Well, I can only I can only draw one short sword per turn. So I'm going to do wilder or not do wilder? Two nope. fighting? I do not. Really? No. Nope. How do I? I want to move to here, but I want to go around that guy without. You could yeah. go around him one, two, three. Right. How do I draw that though? Or... Just click. Just okay. Move to each to the next, the first square you're moving to. And let, let go. go ah. And then do it again. Just Got drag it. that one and drag it again. Yep. So I want to do that. Right. Okay. And That's then fine. I, and See, then I want... what it does is it draws it out. Now when I hit it. Yep. Okay. Then I want to attack fourteen. Okay. And I'll use a Bardic Flourish uh, slashing to hit 12. Okay. So. Uh, Start with 14. Well, I targeted 14. I will make my attack. This is with my better short sword. 
And that is a hit. All right, so. I hope so. Damage for that. Oh, that's broken. And it is. He's hurting pretty good. I mean, okay. that's a pretty good smack. He also gets uh, deal weapon. Okay. He also gets bartered flourish damage. So here's that. Okay. He is critically injured. Okay. And since it hits, I can now uh, hit another creature of my choice within five feet of me. Deals damage equal to the number rolled on the bardic inspiration die. So he takes two also. Okay, so I'll just add two to him. I should have, yeah, I should have targeted both for the fire. Okay, that was, that's 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, 12 takes two. And, okay, so he's up. All right. Oh, he didn't kill either of them. No. Some of these guys have pretty good hit points. Some of these guys have pretty shitty hit points. I yeah, will then... Behind, bugs. Bonus action, I will go full bunny, which will give me seven extra hit points. Okay, click on your full bunny. Or oh, just add. Yep. Actually, I don't know if you can add hit points like that. Uh, I just hit temp. Because yeah. they're temp. Yeah, that, that, there might be a. Did you push the button and it does it? or? I clicked into temp hit points and hit seven. Well, okay, there might be a way of pushing a button. Oh, to use the you ability. Use the mm. effects. Sure but I'm not going to worry about it now. No. Okay. There's. For next week. A lot. Let me make a note. Uh, but, yeah. it, it ups my speed and gives me seven temp hit points. Yeah, speed, I don't think I can change. Just, yeah, I was just doing it manually. Yeah, we don't even have to write it in. We just know that you got 40 instead of 30. Yep. That's okay. not a deal. Because it's not a real mechanic. It, if it. you could draw, tear it out to 150 feet, and if I okay, it'll go. It won't stop at 30. Got it. Okay. And... I'll advance it. Okay. Orc one. Orc one is being sneaky over here. He's yeah, damn, I tried to maximize. <laughs> you're, you're like me. We, we, we're we overthinking this. We should just go old school. Just stay on one till he's dead. Stay on the next till he's dead. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Go for yeah, potential. I'm <laughs> our, playing it smart. to go yet. <laughs> They'll get there. If there's some My luck. killing potential is yet to be unleashed. <laughs> and just and he did Armin. Wow, he did. Yeah, that's Armin's job. Suck up damage. Yep. <laughs> why why, why did he stay behind him? And whoa, he gets Walla for 14 points of damage. Oof. All right, he's and taking he said, it. I'm not standing next to both these killers. I'm just gonna get the one of them. <laughs> <laughs> When my turn comes around, I can do healing instead of damage if you need it. Okay. Or 12. Uh, I'm not oh, going to down I'm yet. I wonder what's going on with the thing. I got to turn off this option to auto center map. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> map. That always happens to me, and there's also a big ding noise. <laughs> the ding noise I put there, and that's I the way that. up people. You want me? You want me to turn it off? That's no, fine. I was just saying it, it helps. It helps me know when my turn is up. That turn the, it's turn the ding, ding off for me. Yeah, it's I kind. Of, it's on for everybody or nobody. Yeah, it's, really? it's a global set. Oh, here. Huh. When it, when it gets to you, there's a little ding when it's your turn. Uh, I didn't hear it this time. Nah. I don't know why. It used to be really loud. I don't know why. It's. I don't know, maybe you have the volume turned off on Fantasy Round somehow. Yeah, the ding, the ding, is, the ding is not bad. The auto map centering is annoying. Yeah. Orc 12 is going to continue with his bugs attack. Why? Because bugs hurt him. Because bugs ran around in a circle and then slashed him in the back. And he hits bugs. He does. But bugs is bigger and meaner now. True. For... Oof. He grew rabbit ears. He's three inches taller. You took five real. Correct. Yeah, temper gone, and I took another five. Yeah. You took five real. I'm saying damage five. Why did it go from 12 to five? Oh, yeah, it got rid of the seven automatically. Yep. Okay. Or 12 feels good about himself and says, come on, number six. I think that's... Hit that girl. An orc. 
Ow. It hits the girl. They're having a much better second round. Ow. 13 points of damage. Ooh, they went from their javelins to their axes. See. They felt bad that they surprised us the first round. They were taking the mulligan. Or 26. They were only allowed to hit the people who acted. Let's let's make them feel good. Is going to move Sense. here and continue to throw and still throw his javelin at Stinky. He doesn't want to get near the big metal thing. He doesn't. He doesn't want to clump up either. He's worried about a fireball. He, he's just worried. He, he's they're not stupid. They're just orcs, and he misses. Hammer. to killing us, smart. All right. Two more down. He just crossed. Did you target somebody? I double clicked. It rolled twice. I don't know why. Well, you, you have, have to double click. So, yeah, yep. it, both. Oh, yeah. because you're targeting yourself, too. Let me clear the target oh, off. Yeah. So, Stop hitting right. yourself. <laughs> Giving him a chance. Why are you hitting yourself? That's why. why. You hitting yourself? Okay, well, it the, rolled the, an attack on both of you. The, the 22 was, was against yourself. the orc anyway. No, the 20... Yeah. It says at harm and hit. <laughs> Don't worry, you can use that one. Okay. Uh, well, no, because it's, it's going to affect it because the... Oh, no, neither one of them are. Um, I have targeted myself for the damage. Yeah, let me just show you. Attack no, no, 22. I, I saw it. I, 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 I was reading the wrong line. Ah. You have the thing to reroll twos, right? He is hurting. Huh? He he has a two weapon fighting or great weapon fighting, right? You're a fighter. I have great weapon fighting, yeah. So I think that means you can reroll ones and twos. Yes. Uh, I believe not, great, not great weapon fighting. Yeah, it's not a great weapon fighting thing. To say something else. That's um. I think that's a. It's a fighting half style. thing. I think it's a fighting style. No, I think it's a half or thing. Vicious uh, attacks or something. Savage attack. No, savage, savage attack. attack. Uh... Great weapon fighting. When you roll a one or two on a damage die for an attack you make with a melee weapon that you're wielding with two hands, you can reroll the one or two. Yes, you're right. It's right. Yeah, there. savage is an additional. Okay, so if you choose, I will take the nine points off orc one, and you can reroll. It's your choice. All right. Which 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 feature was that? It's it's great weapon fighting. If you it's have the fighting weapon. style. Yeah. But it doesn't show it. Great if you weapon click on great weapon up. fighting shield, and you go down archery, defense, dueling, you see great weapon fighting. Because you got to go through the whole thing. It's oh, got them okay. all. Yeah. All right. It's got all the stuff you can get. Yeah. I'll, Great I'll weapon master I'll is. Roll the damage on him. Okay. Let me Great go weapon go master point. is. You know. You get a kill. You get to, to attack again. Follow him. He killed him. Good okay. call, Michael. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. That's uh, what I do. And then I'm going to move here. He's the sci-fi of this group. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and you're going there? Yep. Okay, then which I'm one going, are you attack? And then I'm going to attack the other one that scratched my paint. Or is that 16? 16? Yeah, it's work 16. <laughs> Hit. Quite dead. <laughs> you have a great weapon master right in this water. Well, the funny thing is, is that was one of the light hit point ones. <laughs> that was the one like a first level wizard could kill. Uh, yes, you have great yes, weapon master yeah. Feet, right? Yeah. So you get another swing too, because you killed two things. Where's that come from? Great weapon master the feat. If you crit or or drop something to zero hit points, you can use your bonus action to swing again. Oh, I wish I knew that with uh That's a follow through thing. Uh it's the it's a feat that you oh, have to take. It's it's great great weapon master. Which I have. So 
soon as I can hear you guys. Yeah, oh, okay, I don't have that. Okay. Okay, you can you can roll on orc three if you'd like. Yes, I think you can hear us. I can hear us. I, yeah, it's my Discord locks up on me. I don't know if you guys can hear me when that happens, but like your cameras all freeze and I lose sound. Yeah, we we didn't lose you. It didn't, didn't sound like we lost you. You crit. You crit. <laughs> yes. Because you I, crit on 19. I crit on 19. And, and did oh, shitty damage, but you did shitty damage. <laughs> Roll two threes. The same. But you're hurting pretty. He's hurting pretty bad. One lucky guy. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't think the other one's felt any pain. He's feeling pain. <laughs> He's coming in. He must have lost steam. He didn't kill the last one. I'm going to go fight him now. <laughs> Hit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, big hit. Boy, smack damage. No, I'm hurting. Chopping down Hartman. Wow, that, is a, that was a whack. Hartman's going to have to repaint himself tonight. 14 is going to change his target. Oh, is this? That's 17. Yeah, Fourteen turn, long by button. turn your back on the other metal guy. Sure. 14 is bugs in H1PU. He is changing it to bugs. He said that was a mistake not to go for the squishy rabbit. Bring it. Turn your back on the big metal guy. And misses. Because he's a Elena. All right, it's time. Taking my first turn. <laughs> I know. It's a, there's a lot of enemies. Sorry. You hadn't weapon. been surprised. And you rolled a three on your perception. I did. He that probably hits. That does hit. Eight points of damage. Nice. He's yeah. moderately hurt. Swing again. Okay. Hey, that's funny. Let's see what the critical hit effect is. And he's dazed. So what is you? Well, you killed him. Well, he's dead. <laughs> he's dazed. <laughs> he's beyond dazed. He's dazed. Let's find Orc Six and remove him. Okay. And then I would like to stop the robot from getting javelins thrown at him, so I will engage Orc 26. Okay, H1, I turn their backs. You can take them. Okay. Brendan, are you back? I am. You're up. All right. So I am going to step here. Okay. And I know uh, I get an attack of opportunity. Oh, uh, that's true. So, or they want to use it. There there's a way of doing attack opportunities. I think if you hold shift and, but I don't remember what it was. I have to look that up again. I'm just gonna, uh, gonna go twelve on H one PU. It's on H one PU. Let me just go to. I gotta move to Orc twelve. <laughs> remove the target from bugs. Put it on H one PU. Swing a great axe. And miss. And I do believe it is time for the power of Grace Call. Woohoo! Right, let me put it back on your box. Okay, it's back to you. Power Grace Call. Probably five of them left that we can see. Well, a lot Don't of interrupt should, Power of Grace Call. Should just incinerate. <laughs> At least three of them should incinerate, and the other two are going to have a bad day. Where is Power Grayskull going? It goes to all of them. Oh, 30 feet up. Yeah, I'm within 30 feet of all of them. That's why I have to step forward five feet. Yeah. <laughs> ah. So they all saved. So let me see. Oh. Fail, success. All right, roll your damage. It's only one success. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> did you target them all? Yes. I did. Roll your damage. They all took. They all. Nice. Pretty good. 
four kills oh. and one is having a bad day. Oh. No, 26 is alive. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Barely. He's really hurt, but he's alive. Let me see. Okay. 26. Is that the one who made the save? Yeah. Let me make sure the save worked. Uh, 26. 26 yeah, they... to 12. He saved. No, he failed. Failed. DC's 15. Yeah, or three made the save. But he probably just didn't have very much health. So he, he was already hurt. Yeah, or three made the save. Or three, and it, I just want to make sure the save took. It took half damage. Okay. I just want to make sure all the saves took. I want to make sure that's working right. Yep. Oh. Um, I always like Power of Grace Call. Oh, yeah. We love Power of Grace Call. Great ability. <laughs> I was thinking something else. And. Okay. I think there were a bunch of orcs around here a minute ago. <laughs> it makes me sometimes think that your god is worth it. It's like an immersion blender. Barton, this is why we built Warforged. <laughs> this is what they do. Before you go, Barton, well, you can take that hit. I just want to say, do you ding? Oh, I don't hear anything. From and I, I, didn't, I didn't either when it came up on my list. I'm going to the bell off. I think you... It's really loud. A couple like last time we played. So I think you turned it off. For yeah, me maybe you turned it off. Sad. I like ding. I didn't hear it either. I have it off. Here, I'll put it back on. Is okay. You can... it? Uh, get a second shot though. He's Barton dead. didn't eat. You can take another shot. He hit Armin. Uh, well, no. <laughs> Good power, Gray Skull. Get yes. this, thing. this is this is taking too long. Let's kill them all. <laughs> I was gonna try it. I had, uh, I had Cypher Wind all queued up. I was gonna use that. Two round, it took me two rounds to kill four orcs. You did them in one breath. Yeah, well, it, it, you, you guys softened yeah, the mind for me. He, he's sitting there and he finally rebooted. That's why he missed it. Oh. <laughs> you know what's funny? That's On good. your dice rolls, two guys rolled 23s and three guys rolled threes. On perception. <laughs> It was pretty funny. <laughs> my plan was before the power of grace goes, I was, was going to use Zypher Strike. I, when I changed up my spells last time for that, because I can disengage without them getting an attack on me. So they don't get opportunity attacks for a, a minute. So I can back up and then just start shooting people. Cool. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I think I'm going to uh, heal uh, Arvin. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Target him and cast your heals. Press the loot. Is there any? Well, he does that. Is there any high ground? Are these rocks up here high ground, or is this building? You can climb ruins? on them. Sure, if you want. I want to. I want. Yeah, I want to go up here. Um, and just keep a lookout. Okay. I no. press the loot. I don't want to be surprised again. Those orcs are popping out of everywhere. I want to make sure that I can surprise us. Yeah, we'll loot go. for. Uh, uh, valuables and information. Maybe yeah. they have a map to their camp or something like that. Yeah, or was this, or were they paid to find us, or was this random? So, so, real quick question, Jim. If I'm going to catch this at third level, I got to press heal three times, right? Is it 3d8 plus four? Is it 3d8 uh, it, plus 12? It's 3d8 plus four. Say that again. I was going to uh, cast at third level. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you need to either make a third level cure wounds by adding a cure wounds and physically increasing it and writing next to it third level cure wounds. It'll show up in the first slot. Right. That's what I That's did okay. on my spellcaster. Right. You can do it that way, but if, we'll, we'll worry about that later. What you do is roll your cure wounds. Oh, oh there it is. Is it 3d8 plus four? Yeah. Is that what Good you roll. wanted? Good roll. Yeah. If you want right. more, 48 you wanted. Oh, it's 48? No, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm guessing at third level, right? So it's 3d8 plus 4. All right, so it did work. It works. But well, yeah, not really. Fine. I modified the dice. Oh, you modified the dice. But I will cast it again. Okay. Oh, you just took your cure wounds and added the dice to it? Yeah. You can do that if you want, but you also can make it as a third level spell. Wow. Oh, that's better. Much better. He wins it and maxes it. Between the two, you average. 
Alright, how are you looking now there, Armin? You look decent. Uh, <laughs> I'm barely scratched. Alright, hold on a second. Does anyone else need healing? It's like a latest player, but oh, yeah. I, healed, I healed myself. I thought I'd created all my spells at higher levels. I didn't take anything, any of those around. Okay. So... Uh, maybe I did that with Tosh. No worries. You guys are looting, and I'm keeping a lookout, right? Uh, yep. And if I don't find any information, then I'll have more questions. All right, let me just... I, I, I screwed up um, my generator. I was just fixing it. One... Two, three. I'm gonna give you five and six. Okay. Ninety-five is nice. Huh? Well, yeah, I'm, just, nice. I'm randomly generating coins, <laughs> and I'm tell you what they are in a second. It didn't do it as it didn't. That's funny. It didn't give it didn't make them really coin, so the funny thing is it made them as items and not coins. <laughs> we'll, take, we'll take random items. Random items. Random item 90, 90 is a pretty good item. <laughs> it's it's some good stuff you got except, there probably. Except they're random items called coin. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, let's see what happens. Let me. It could be. It might work. Let me just get your party sheet and your inventory and drop it. That's interesting. You have the uh, pictures on the slide with the Discord. I was curious how it looked. Oh, well, on the stream? I just, I just turned the stream on. Yeah, that was that was the best way for me to put the pictures. I tried it on the bottom, but it works better on the side. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, see, no, it didn't work. All right, I just got to do it by hand. It didn't make a real parcel. So you got... Let me just put them all in here. The only problem with the Discord is I can't label the videos, which is something that people keep asking for, is they want to be able to label label the videos. The video um, screens. Uh, so can see, like, so under I've, got my name to, and... I've got to do it when I when I build the video. I actually have to label the video pieces, or like Roll Twenty does automatically. I wonder if I could do it in Discord. Can I like label myself? No. It, I think okay. you can, but it doesn't show up on the video. Twenty-five copper. This is all told. Fifteen gold. Uh, see, my life. Get rid of that copper. Get rid of that gold. Get rid of that gold. Six electrum. And a mithril. No, the the ninety-five is the electrum. I assume the this was actually a mana pool. And eight silver. All right. I shall distribute. Eh, not horrible, but... Information is better than money at this point. And no, like, crude map back to their camp where they have a pile of treasure? No. No idea where they came from. You look, uh, as you're looking around, it seems that they've been hanging out in this uh, derelict, uh, destroyed building for a while. Ah, so this is it. Yeah. No pile of treasure? They have it all on them? That was the pile of treasure. Okay. There's just 12 orcs hanging out here. They <laughs> seem to have been here a few weeks, and anywhere they came from, not seem to be gone. Well, you're guessing they were here a few weeks, 
by all the awful around you know they don't seem to be latrine animals we would have been a good haul for them you would have been an excellent haul for them <laughs> you know of course they would have been happy if they actually tried to make their way back to their main tribe they would have been dead instantly as the uh chieftain took all their crap <laughs> but they may not be smart enough to know that you know they, well, they, they didn't be able to get anything out of the bag of holes. Oh, look, there's a street sign. I don't know what happened, but Fantasy Grounds just went white. It, it didn't for me. No. Yeah, like all, all, all three of my screens blanked, and then two of them came back, but the Fantasy Grounds, I'm just, all I see is white right now. And we were two of them. Oh, the the giant video glitch on your end. Yeah, something went weird. <laughs> Because all, all of my screens just went blank for a bit, and then they came back, and that whoop, and it just closed. Okay. <laughs> Your fantasy round crashed. Yeah. Do you see me in there still? Because I don't. Yeah, let me kick you. It kicked me. It closed totally. Yeah, yeah you, because if you, you finish out, he's got to kick you out of the game. No, but he he didn't disconnect. He he was yeah. still. That that yeah. does happen. Sometimes if it crashes, it doesn't disconnect. It keeps the TCP IP open, and then I I can't reconnect. So you've been kicked. Yeah, we learned that in my dad's game. Yep. Yeah, that's where we learned it. I gotta close the... This is still kind of beta, the FGU. But it works pretty well. I think it didn't like me having the Discord server open. Oh, but there's too much bandwidth. Like, I know you can't watch YouTube in the background and listen to, like, music on YouTube, let's say, and work on Fantasy Grounds <laughs> at the same time. It doesn't like it. Yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah, this is really processor and bandwidth intensive. Not a very... It's, it's architecture isn't very... Uh, how would you put it, uh... Clean. Uh, elegant. Okay. So that's basically it on your road to Neverwinter. So we think they're just... I know they're weak, so there's no way we can track back. This is basically just a, a one and done. It rained a couple yeah. of times. It's a one and done random encounter, so they're fighting something. <laughs> I'm not that bad of a DM. Okay, anyway, you were in the town of Neverwinter, or city of Neverwinter. We'll fast forward to there, if you can. Uh, do we consider it a city? Yeah, you, you actually consider it... You, you consider it some <laughs> city. It's oh, big to be a city, but it's not fancy. We can't see from one side to the other. Right. I, um, I lost oh, all the changes like, that made the map. Like, you know, so. one, one district out, out in the old homeland. Yeah. What did, you say, Dan? what did you lose? I lost all my hotkeys, but that's fine. Like, I, the, the, the other map. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that happens if you crash because it doesn't save the set. It saves the settings when you close. That's fine. We don't need it for now. If we go back to the main map, I'll, I'll perfect. Sword Coast. Thank you. Oh, that's the wrong one. I got to unshare that. That's the one with all the pins on it. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Share this one. Damn, I should have saved it when I had the chance. No, that's the one that tells you where all the bad guys are. Back. Once it's unshared, you can't bring it back up. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, so we arrive in Neverwinter. Yes, I, I just gave you a little Neverwinter map, but you know when we really need it. I'm just giving it to you for. Uh, more of a flavor. There's a poor person. Saying. It's just All right. Um, you have come to Neverwinter. We have from the party sheet, or from everyone, please remove three gold from your characters for your trip. Okay. That was, uh, they also provided a food on the trip. Oh no. I'm thinking you took a car cartridge. Forget that. Put your money back. You walked. Okay. 
If you put a carriage in, I would have to put guards in the fight for some walk. Um, I flaked out a local urchin. Can I, can I ask him, where is the most powerful mage in this place? Or do you have an artifice where we could visit? I'm going to be quiet and see how they react. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm thinking about where's, where's the local magic man? The, the big robot. Magic guild. Bard has gotten used to you guys by now, but he knows this is funny to watch people. <laughs> What's this robot talking to me? If you try the house of knowledge. Where's the house of knowledge? Okay, I tell you what, I'll give you a gold if you can take us there. Uh, he starts taking it there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to need for a year. It's more money than he's going to see in his life. Down around the lake, you know, past the lake. Yeah, I see it past the south of there. Dolph, right to the house of knowledge. Good luck, guys. Uh, I'll wait outside. Hey, Jim, how much gold did I have? It was like 5,000 and something. I tried to subtract one, and it brought me to one gold. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah you overwrote one. You can't subtract. You can't type the number in. You have to type the number win. Uh, the urchins are really rich now. <laughs> you got confused with the kid. You get in the wrong bag. Not the one with the one. The bag with the 5,000. And I'll give you this gold. Here's the bag. <laughs> I don't think the urchin can carry 5,000 gold. 5,992 five, nine, nine, is what you have. Yep. Okay. Don't, uh, yeah, if you, you got to change it to 5,991, you see? like that <laughs> you, uh, uh, you gotta you gotta do the math yourself it, it does everything except take care of your coins it can't do simple way. F huh? you can't do simple math right it doesn't no, it's it's like uh you know accounts you can't do worth it that was a dig on dan uh i left yes i know you did all right house of knowledge i'm not giving you a map and then I, I do then ask him if he's heard of our uh, saving Lord Henson. Nope. Amen. You should consider converting, and I will cast uh, guidance on him. As I'll convert for gold. I give him a gold. <laughs> okay, he converts. <laughs> He'll do anything for a gold, pretty much. <laughs> You're getting gold oil, you know, he's like, you want me to stab somebody? Give me a gold. <laughs> no, Brendan, no, no. You're not that guy on the subway that would give you a buck for your soul back in New York. That, that's what Brendan's turned into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the guy who was buying souls for a dollar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll give you a dollar for your soul. He'll give you a real dollar. It was, yeah. I had a guy who once, who once offered, uh, he asked me for a dollar and they gave me four quarters and change. <laughs> I, think he, I think he was just trying to lighten his load. <laughs> it does happen. I once found a business card on the subway that said it was just big, long, convoluted formula. And basically what it was was it was it was a proposition to some woman to, to a random woman to get laid. It was just the you know, the, the uh, average penis length is six inches and this x amount of per minute and x amount of minutes in time, which is like seventeen feet. If you're not getting your proper mileage or whatever, you know, in a year, it's three miles worth. If you're not giving proper mileage, give your number to the guy who gave you this card or something. <laughs> I laugh for a while. Uh, so I start knocking on random doors looking for a magic person. It's the house of knowledge. We're, you're, we're gonna stop random, <laughs> knocking on random doors when there's guards standing outside it. Yeah, we knock and we we'd like to be. 
We'd like to see the most powerful wizard here. Uh, why? We want to hire him. To do what? Send me home. To cast a spell, yeah. Send you Ma home. Magic above your head. Do, do magic stuff. It, it, this is, you know, you go by the gate and you can rent a carriage if you want to go home. Yeah, it's a little more complicated than that. You, you see those two robots? They're from our home. They, they don't exist here. I need to go somewhere that's not here. Go, go. The guy turns and yells in the door. Go get an acolyte. He's not letting you in. They're still staying outside. They're confused. They can make their own light. They don't need light. No. Acolyte. They're getting an acolyte. Did someone say light? I cast light on my eyes. <laughs> That's what I was saying. They can do that themselves. They don't need an acolyte. So then, uh, a, then a mage. A, 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 a youngest man who's early 20s in uh, gray robes comes up and says, how can I help you? Standing behind the guards. He looks a little confused about why two iron golems are with three, three people in the street. With the were rabbit, and the were rabbit says, "We would like to hire a powerful mage." You cast one spell. To do what? Send us to a different place. place. Home. Send mention? him home. <laughs> okay, where's home? Ever. Well, that's part of what we have to talk to this wizard about. Have you ever heard of the continent of Eberron? Nope. Figured. That's where we're going. Well, that's where he's, she's going. <laughs> I, I, I don't well, is, him... anyone, is anyone here from Sharn? Isn't that like, you know, the biggest city? That, yeah. Anyone? Sharn? Anyone? Yeah. Population 30 million? All right. Well, better let him in. Have him go to uh, conference room three. I'll have to find <sighs> Master Dale. Conference room three. I wonder if they have pastries. We don't want to get back and watch you guys left. You don't eat. Uh, I'm just taking down uh, information, that's all. Okay. You are escorted in. Hey. See, we're good at this. You have brought down, you make your, a left in the hallway. You make another left, another left, another left. Then we go back out the front door. Another left, and another left. And you're brought into, and there's a door at the end of the hall. And you're brought to a room. You go in, and it's a large ish room, let's say about 45 by 45 with a uh, table and chairs and things bubbling here and there and the guard tells you have a seat. Perfect. You guys have any, any cash for a trick? This, like, this looks like a student magic room, huh? You probably got somebody. Exactly. This That's looks about right. I stand yeah. behind... Um, but are, is everybody sitting like on one side of the table? I'm thinking of casting a rope chicken hanging out above and looking down. We can. We can all hang out on one side of the table. Yeah, I'll sit across facing the door. Okay. I stand behind them at attention. Okay. That's I sit do. down on the floor. I think the stool won't hold my weight. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take the bag of holding and hand it to the rabbit. Okay. That's yours now. And I still haven't turned off my lights, my headlights. So I, my eyes are still flashing around with the lights. I, it's in, it's in my head. Um, you uh, drop a perception into the dice tower, Mister Perek Michael P. Bugs. Stop covering up the dice tower. <laughs> I 
bag of holding it feels too light. It's supposed to weigh 15 pounds. Whether it's empty or full, you know, it feels like an empty bag. I open the bag of holding. It's just a void. I look at Elena. Uh, that's not how that's supposed to work. Did you break the bag of holding? I don't think so. I, I hand it back to Elena. Does it work now? <laughs> no. Hmm. Okay. Was it normal at the orc camp? Uh, like, is this just, did this just happen? It was perfectly fine at the orc camp. Uh, well, let me see. Uh, roll a, uh, give me an intelligence into the dice tower. Damn. Did, did, does it look like it got pierced by something? No. It could be the area. Maybe. Intelligence. Well, you're pretty sure it was working back then, Dan. They could have turned stuff off. Okay, I uh, I check my quiver. Yeah, it's it's just a void. Okay, so basically my quiver with the where my sixty hours are, they're not there right now. It's, it's a void. Okay. Yeah, black void. All right, everybody you shouldn't put your hand in there. Yeah. Wait, wait here a second. I'm going to see if the guards will let me back outside. I'll be right back. I just want to test the theory. Are the guards going to block me exiting? I'll be no. right back. You make a right, and you make a right, and you make a right, and you make a right, right later. and you make a right, and you make a right, and you go out the front door, and it works. I'm not concerned. Okay. okay. So, yeah, but my, my, my quiver works outside, just not inside. Yes. I'll head back and... Making a uh, perception check. <laughs> Pardon. Yeah. Uh, perception. You realize as you're walking back that each hallway we make right is exactly the same length and you should be walking into the hallways itself. I was wondering, I was going to ask you, are they shorter and shorter? But I didn't want to disturb you with that, but okay. They are so not, some, they're all the same length. Which means, yeah, so something is magically happening here. It's a... Just saying. Okay, it's actually fairly cool. Um, I'll make sure I have a couple hours, well... Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I put 20 hours in my old quiver, just... That's Just fine. so I have, to, just yeah. in case we get into a fight. That's fine. So, and then I'll head, I'll head back in. When you get back, what do you tell the people? Because you did it a couple of times, I gave you that perception check because no one asked the first time. No. I wasn't sure that was just Jim being Jim or if that was real. So. Yeah, it's real. They're all the same length. Um, yeah, so I, I'll inform everybody both pieces. One, wherever we are, the route we took here doesn't make sense physically. And two, uh, my, my stuff works fine outside. It's just something in about this building. So your bag and any other void type items. We've, we've been to mages before. Their houses are weird. They don't make sense. Yeah. I'm not gonna You guys that. aren't surprised by it, but Barton's a little bit freaked out by it because he's yeah. never seen us. <laughs> we're in the right, obviously we're in the right spot because this is- yeah, this. <laughs> you, know you didn't do Barton and you should have- What's that? Should have picked up some of the javelins. From the orcs. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Just throw them into my thing. Just wait. Into your quiver, but you didn't. I didn't. I didn't. What do I need those javelins for? I don't use javelins. Yeah, but you, you can hold 18 of them for no reason. Yeah, you can. You can, if you ever need to, you know, uh, arm a rebel band. Or oh, but I can... you know, build a, a, a defensive, uh, you know. Yeah, but right now I can just go to a store and buy 18 good javelins and not stinky orc ones. Well, they're free. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just thought of that. Uh, after a few minutes, the, uh, the young man comes back and offers you uh, coffee and refreshments. There he goes, Stinky. You don't need them, but... I will take an ale. <laughs> I will partake of refreshments. Ale? 
Anything else? Yeah. Anyone else? No, this is good. Uh, it, so. Okay, so nothing for Elena, nothing from Barton. I'm looking to see if I can detect my poisonous I'm food, but I can't, so I'll trust yeah, them. If I, if I do teleport, I'm going to get, like, you know, uh, airline sickness. Get the cramps. You can wait 30 minutes after eating before teleporting, or you get cramps. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Sometimes uh, I, I will problem, enjoy problem with teleportation. Does the food look good? Yes, actually, they, it's it, it's odd. There are these circular things with the holes in them. You know, toruses. <laughs> and they're coated with this powdered white sugar, and they are awesome. Barton enjoys. Like it. Yeah, he's never had a pastry. He's, he's, he usually like hunts his own meals and cooks it over a campfire. So this is you've never seen. You think it might be someone fried these tortoises? They're awesome, <laughs> tasty pastries. Yes. Yeah. I feel like I did a cup of coffee to go with it. You offered your coffee, but you yeah, you offered coffee. You, did, you turned it down. Turn it down. No. You didn't say yes to coffee, did you? You can have. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah absolutely. I'll have coffee. coffee. Huh? I love coffee. No, we have coffee all the time. I have coffee and donuts. I have our coffee and fried, fried tortoises. Powdered tortoises. Powdered tortoises. A tortoise is a... I, 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 it's what it is. I will partake and enjoy. This is a special treat. Yes. Uh, a couple minutes after that, an old man with a big long beard and a floppy hat, flowing robes, comes in, he, before he can even sit down at the table, the younger man comes running over with a cup of coffee. First thing he does is he grabs a tortoise, breaks it in half, dunks it in one half in the coffee and eats it. Says, ah. I'll, I'll mimic that. It sounds like a good idea. I'll, mi I'll mimic his motion. How may I help you? You find that it is oddly pleasing to have the uh, explain to him that we've been told that this place could have a powerful wizard. We, not him, Barton, are find this place really strange everywhere we've been. We've been here for a couple months now, wandering around. We were all someplace else, and we appeared here. Well, how, well, wait, well, how'd that happen? Don't know. We have no idea. We weren't even together. We weren't even with Until each other we when here. we left. I met him when they were already here. We're all from different countries you've probably never heard of. The mage thanks you, but he says, it's a little early for me. I'm going to stick with the coffee. Okay. I'm, I'm going to jump in. Mm -hmm. They're not kidding. I, I, I spent the last like, two months with these guys. They're, they're legitimate. I would listen to them if I were you. I would say you guys have been here about four, four months, and the last ten weeks or so you've spent with Bart. Okay, so for the last, yeah, 11 months. Like, done, I, oh, you, you did that adventure with him and then a bunch of traveling. So since we've arrived, we've been searching for probably a mage powerful enough to get us home well get it to her home and those two if they want to go you? i'm barton if you want to go to furry friend i will i want to stay want to stay okay um well who owns the metal guys? Who owns the golems? No one they have free will. Me. Yeah, technically the house of blah blah blah. Like I don't know what house, but from where we're from, those guys have souls. That's so. arguable. Yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> they're they're fully dependent. They function by themselves. They can yeah. choose for themselves. They are sentient. They're own creatures. They are not. Yeah. Hmm. They can choose whether they want to remain or go. 
Okay. Looks at Armin, standing at attention, and says, Do you want to stay or go? I want to stay. He looks at the guy with the glowing eyes sitting on the floor. Do you want to stay or go? I want to stay for now. He looks at uh, Elena. Says, I want to go. And do you want to stay or go? You want to go. I know you don't want to go, Bugs. He looks at the elf and says, <laughs> you, you, you say you're from here. Do you want to go with them or stay in your home? I'm good here. I'm really just a tour guide. Okay. Travel one to an another place material plane. I think it's a different material plane. It's called Eberron. I understand that, but it is not. It is it's, a part of the prime material plane. Should be. From what I understand of magic, yes. Okay. I pull up the sword. You to the seven, this the uh, six hundred and forty second level of hell, yeah. or the abyss. I take out the sword and go hell. Okay. This is from there. If that helps. What is it? My sword. It's from that land, so maybe you can yeah. use it to trace back or something. It thinks. Yeah, it's a sentient sword. <laughs> Hmm. Can I hold on to this a couple of days? It might help me figure out how to get you there. Yeah, I figured this wasn't going to be an, an instant process. I figured this was going to be a few days. I'm going to need four, maybe five days. Why don't you come back in a week? That works. I'll know by then. I'm pretty sure whether I can... Is there a place I'm not familiar with Neverwinter, even though from this land? Is there a place we could we should stay? You can close by or yeah, you can go to the wing wire. Yeah. That's a nice uh inn right there by the bridge. Not the you know, down the road a bit. Yeah, we can find it. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you in a week. Uh nine AM. That works. And he gets up with, this, with the rapier and his cup of coffee and the second half of his donut and walks out of the room. Make sure I got his name and stuff like that so when we get to the gate, we can say we have an appointment with... Yeah, I forgot the name I gave you. Crazy wizard old guy. Wizard Master. Yeah. Master Wizard well, Dale. Call him Dale. Well, I said Dale, right? Yes. Okay. Right. I guess I caught Doopy. Yeah. Charlie, it's interesting because you guys didn't talk twice at all. He walks out of the room, he says, Charlie, show him out. Well, he doesn't know what it'll take yet, so. He doesn't know what it'll take. He can't, he, he can't give you a price. What if he says 3,000 gold and it costs 18,000? But don't go flaunting that we have a lot of cash, everyone, because it will get back to him. <laughs> what cash? <laughs> Right. Well, you know, he may want the sword as payment. He might. Well, that's not sword's kind of bound to me. It's the way I see it, I have, right. I have 5,990 tokens of uh, conversion. <laughs> well, you're giving some of them up to get Elena home. Tokens of conversion! <laughs> the wizard may be a little upset. The sword is kind of, like, bound to me. It may not go with him. <laughs> So my plan for the week is try and play at the inn and gather as much information about a place nearby with treasure that will make me richer. <laughs> okay. You also want to find a little bit about this guy, Dale, just in case. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. We shall fast forward one week. <laughs> Ask me your questions. I'll tell you your answers you got during the week. We shall start with... Elena, anything you asked or wanted to know about or do during this week? Quick, nothing. No. You're fine. Okay, Barton. 
I'm good. I'm just gonna I'm gonna actually see if I can find a place to buy donuts. But beyond that, I'm good. You you know you looked, you didn't see them anywhere else. Wow. All right. So after the week, I'll have to talk to the wizard about that. But for now, join the house of knowledge. Yeah. I'm a wizard now because I forgot how to duct tape. How to make the fried fried powdered Tauruses. Well, Barton figures, you know, he saw the wizard do that trick, and now he did it, so he's a wizard himself. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I'm good. This is all about Elena, so right. let's well, enjoy I'm the week. It's nice not to be camping. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. You're 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 doing good. I'm gonna say everyone for the week, just relieve yourselves of four gold from your sheet. Um, but you're living it up. You're getting this place is not. This, this is good. You each have you have private rooms, clean sheets every day, baths, you know, food and drink. It's all in there. It's been a good week. So while the Warforged don't care, this is the best I've ever lived in my life. Right. <laughs> but they take up space, so they have to pay. <laughs> Armin, anything you questions you need <clears throat> in for the week, or are you just polishing your frame? No, I'm actually, um, uh, but I've got to look it up. I didn't, I didn't think we were doing this right away. I'm looking for armor. Okay. Just, uh, just what kind of armor are you looking for? Well, that, that's what I got to look up. Right now, I've got splint plus one. All right, you but, might not be able to do much better than that, but I'll take, a, I'll think about it. You can go for plate plus one. <laughs> Okay, stinky. Besides converting urchins, I I look for the healing district. You look for a healing district. Basically, I'm looking to see where my house may have set up quarters. <clears throat> well, you went through the. Uh... I, I'd be looking for a heavling temple. You were built yeah, by halflings? The protectors yeah, of the House Churrasco was halfling. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he's so weird. It all makes sense now. Don't, don't worry about it, Jim. It's okay. I'm just, what, what I'm doing is I'm looking for, like, what the equivalent of House Churrasco would be, which would probably be halfling healers. Right, and you are finding it odd that in the temples, the races are mixed. There doesn't seem to be like a halfling house of healing and temple. If you find the houses of healings, there might be a halfling. But a lot of times it's humans, elves, half elves, crazy dwarf or two. All right, so I have to see if I start, you know, building my own temple then. All right, you can think about that. And uh, if you want, you can take away 100 gold because you converted 100 urchins. Nice. And uh, bugs. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and perform at the tavern. I'm not planning on wandering far from the tavern and get as much information as I can on basically adventures in the area because... Apparently, that's how we get rich around here. Okay, so first, I'd like you to roll seven performance checks. In the tower, or you don't care? You don't care. You're going to know if you fail or not. Of which I will assist playing with him. Huh? All right, so you an advantage. Your final performance. An advantage is... Yep. Click. In the lower left-hand corner, there's the advantage button. Oh, right. All right, All right. I think shift click does, too. You said it was four gold, right? Yes. Okay. You do... Uh, you kick ass the first night. Alright. Maybe the next night there'll be patrons. Wow. <laughs> also on the second night. That's four 19s in a row. Jeez. <laughs> I, think, I think Bugs okay. has finally hit his stride. <laughs> Yeah.
the cap. Well, uh, it's another oh, 19, man. but a different 19. Excellent at night five. Blade and Bugs make a good band. <laughs> nope. Off uh, night. Six, you, you, you tried some poetry. Didn't quite work. <laughs> <laughs> but it was still accepted well. Close. Okay. You make 150 gold this week. Of which I will take a cut. Yeah, I'll oh. give you half. That's fine. Uh, half. I was gonna say twenty. I'm the I'm the backup. Yeah. Just most of it. Most of. I'm guessing most of this is all going to the base. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but th but this also serves another purpose. Right. So now you are seen fondly by the people in the tavern. They they like you. Right. Good. Stories you talk about a world. You know the be I mean the tavern owner is as a matter of fact you don't have to pay this week for food or lodging you are bringing him so much business that the two of you you can put your four gold pieces back on your sheet he refunds your money because you brought him in much more uh business you know just than we would have is they 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 know it was me they've been coming to see to forget about life for a while. <laughs> so the freaky rabbit bard. <laughs> right, exactly. And you wait. Um so what you can do is roll me three investigation checks in the old dice tower. Still at advantage or no? Not what? fondling the taverns, <laughs> fondly in the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully that was investigation and not intimidation. Yes. Not that I'm bad at intimidation, but in fact, I'm, I'm better at charisma than intelligence. Yeah, in fact, I'm way better at intimidation than I am at investigation. He's, he's singing a really angry song. Oh no, it, it's the rumors of the uh, killer bunny. And then give me three perception checks. Again, you not my strong suit. You halfling urchins to your coins. Right, so after the performing, those were not my strong suits. <laughs> no. But they're determining. You've heard a couple of rumors of here and there, okay. but they don't seem... Not that the people don't believe them, they're just too outlandish. You know, that so-and-so killed a dragon over here, but never came back with any uh, loot, so it's just sitting there unclaimed. You know, that... Left uh, for the next adventurer. Yeah. Take a penny, leave a penny. It, 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 <laughs> Take yeah, a horn, leave a horn. If you, if you head over towards... You know, Morgan's Mound. You know, they're they're supposedly paying handsomely to you know kill kobolds, but it's way too much money. Because we did that, and I know how much it's worth. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of that kind of stuff. These these kobolds over here in this they're in not... this old abandoned mine have diamonds the size of yeah footballs, right? Right. They're not disingenuous. Okay. They're just not... They believe it. You believe... They believe what they're telling you. You don't believe what they're telling you. Okay. Eh. You're all fairly poorly in investigations and fairly good in your perception. Well, hey. So it's, one, mean, it's one place for one week. And I gave the bonuses to your investigation. And you didn't so hot. Man, I'm, it's not my strong suit. No, it's not. We don't have any pluses. After the week, if you want, Barton could try and find about any kind of rumors about stuff locally. Okay. But, uh, I, already, I already spent the week trying to find donuts. I, I, I gave him pluses, you know, for his good performances. And he, but when you're going to roll ones and twos, this is what happens. And you have no pluses. So, like, okay, yeah. He rolled a two. I gave him a plus five. He got a seven. Not enough. 
But on his perception, he rolled a 19. That's going to work. That's a plus 120. Yeah. I don't think so, that the dragon moved away and left all his stuff behind. You, know, it does, you don't get three gold for every kobold you kill. They, they told me about El Dorado and the streets of gold. And I went, yeah, 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 I've heard this one before. Right. Okay. No problem. I tried. We tried. But anyway, week Please. later, you're... Yep, I got a good reputation. You got a great reputation. You go back to the House of Knowledge. Um, you go to see Dale. Charlie is waiting for you at the door at 9 a.m. I assume you get there 9 a.m. Yep. Your no, our timing make, is digital. You make your six lefts. Okay. Get some donuts for Barton. He, you were yeah, we, offered coffee and powdered Tauruses. Yeah, we set the alarm in H1P, you though. I really want to ask about it, but I'm going to let you guys finish your business first, because that's more important. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. You are highly happy, Barton, that there's one that's not... That, that not one. There are some here now that aren't white. They're more of a kind of almost a, a rust color on them, and they taste awesome. Oh, this definitely beats like killing your own rabbits and cooking over a fire with a stick. Yeah, it's cinnamon. <laughs> you get a cinnamon Taurus. Wow, it's cinnamon. Yeah. It, it's 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 very. It's, it's taking my willpower not to ask more. <laughs> it's got some ground bark on it. That's what cinnamon is. It's the bark of a tree. Very, very good tasting bark. But it is. It's the bark of a particular tree that's been dried and ground. Or just dry. When you see a cinnamon stick, it's just rolled a piece of bark. They've dried out. And we get it. Sure hmm? And we get L for H1P. Right, who doesn't drink? Right. <laughs> I do offer it to the mage when he comes in again. <laughs> he says no thanks a little early. In the <laughs> <laughs> well, the ma uh, Dale, Master Dale, sits down, says he, he, has, his, he has your rapier with him. He did not abscond with him. And um, he says, I think it can be done. I've done some research in our tomes. Uh, and definitely um there's a definite w spell that can get you there it's great no doubt about it but here's the problem i would have to go with you and i don't want to go it's a cool place for magic it's really magical but it's magically delicious. I, I figured out a way that if we do what we can I can send one person directly back to where they were born and not have to go with them okay that sounds good it's still my family home but it's experiment so guaranteed way if you went with us yeah but you're not coming with us well I'll, yeah pay enough I'll do it but I highly doubt you're gonna fall. it's a hell of a vacation destination floating cities 
you know, cars that move. I am retired. I just want to sit here and eat my Tauruses. <laughs> Is there another wizard that could cast it? That might be willing to go. I am the master of teleportation. Okay. I mean, you can try water deep. Uh, Belaney, you want to get back, right? I mean, yeah. I think, yeah. That okay. If if Elaine is good with experimentation, um, what's the price? <laughs> okay. Tonight at midnight will be the best time. We will have to go to the roof. Yeah, to the circle. I will need. Oh, well, I'll have to find. We need to have a lane in the center. And then I got to hit the seven points. There's four more of you. I'm five. Charlie here is six. We'll have to find a seventh person. No problem. <laughs> we'll get somebody. Get one of the guards or another apprentice. Stand at the points and hold the things that need to be held, and we'll get that done. Okay, so tonight, come back at midnight. Please have a Taurus. You haven't mentioned price. Oh, that is true. Which, if there's no price, that's fine. <laughs> no. He, benef he benefits from trying his experiment. So this yeah, is all... Which is why it's a lot cheaper than him having to go. Yeah. So... He figures this. It's got to take really? some components, some things, you know. The... 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 <laughs> We're going to have to... Most of us are familiar with magic. Moran, it's gonna burn through this. Oh, I'm gonna have to say, it's gonna run about a thousand platinum. Ten thousand gold. Yes. If you want me to go, it's gonna run about five thousand platinum. All right. Um, Ele the Electrum and Platinum are basically the same thing. No. Electrum is a half flat. No. No, but Barton's trying. <laughs> this is a version of a com. Uh, yeah. He's not good at this. Um, I'm not opposed to the price. Uh, I can almost fund my return home. Yeah. A hundred mithril. Thousand platinum. It's not out of the realm of what I was thinking. I mean, I was yeah. thought there was a chance that it was going to be well above our thing. As I said before we left for here, if our pooled money that we found since we've been here is what it takes, then that's what it takes. I'm fine with it. it it's getting somebody home, which is in, in the back of holding. I have about six thousand. Oh, bad. You might need him to reactivate it. Yeah, well, it doesn't quite work in here. But, you know, in this bag, there's about 6,000 gold. And I think the rest of you can cover the other 4,221. Well, yeah, because the party sheet says it all, but I don't know what was in the bag of holding. The, the, party, the party sheet says there's, there's almost 16,000 gold. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I'm fine with it. There's more gold to be had here. <laughs> That's kind You're of my theory. And you're all sure you want to stay. I mean, I love it here, but your place sounds like a hellhole from what you described. But still, just making sure. There are forests from where we live, right? It's not just cities. Oh, yeah. I'm from there's a forest. An, there's yeah. an entire druid guild that owns, like, a giant magical forest. So? You told me of, like, never-ending war. I don't want to go to that. Well, I, I've never seen 10,000 gold. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, this is you, you, this you are so rich. He has and well respected I don't even know and living for free in an inn that this wouldn't happen back home no right I mean, back home they would say take this message to the front lines and get killed right <laughs> i wouldn't have the freedom to come to a city and just go nah, i'm gonna be a bard today not that i want to be a bard anymore because this fencing thing is way more profitable than being a bard yeah, the, the other thing i'm looking at I mean, if you're looking at the gold, I mean, total together, we have 16,000 gold, almost 16,000 gold. You've never seen 10,000 gold at one time, but we've done this in four months. <laughs> no, no, but the thing is, you did it in almost, you did it in literally in less than two months because you spent the last two months traveling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just like... It's like, well, I could work for a month and then not work for two, three years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, literally, I go out and do an adventure and then I get to sing in bars and get free drinks for the rest of my life. Not, not work for two, three years and still live, you know, a pretty comfortable life. Right. Not it, like a it, beggar it, on the street. Hugs his mind. This is the greatest thing ever. He was a private and a messenger. And that was a step up from wandering minstrel <laughs> well was, you were conscripted <laughs> hey you're welcome to stay here uh, your own. someone like this get uh, a person a uh, power in this army he was drafted this mm -hmm. movie hot lips yeah. isn't <laughs> because of hawkeye so he goes he was drafted so Elena, last day, doing anything? Buying drinks for the tavern. That's it. Okay. So oh, and one, we'll one more performance, you know. Got to leave a good memory myself here. One more performance with bugs. All right. Roll a performance for the Judean performance. Uh, bugs <laughs> with a uh, uh, advantage. And you naturally, oh. you kick ass. You make. 25 gold today. Okay. That'll be my parting gift to you, Bugs. That's, your, that's just parting gift? 25 gold, a well-renowned performance. Okay, so we're gonna take your 5, 8, 7, 9, and we're gonna add your 260 gold worth of silver. So, you need to make up uh, 3,861 out of the party. Okay? The party party or out of our individual I, characters? I, I got it, I'll take care of it. 3,861? Does he mean out of the party sheet or out of our characters? Out of the, part, the party I, I, sheet I, I, show, shows the total of all the character sheets. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. I, I'll, I'll take care of it. You don't have that much on you. You said 3,000 gold. Yeah, you have less than that, I believe. I just changed it so I have less than that. I still had 5,000. You had 5,000 5, a bit. Two minutes ago, we had 5,000. Yeah. Oh, you did? Dealing with the urchins. Oh, yeah. you, that's why it's not. Why didn't Elena's... I can just subtract the total off. No problem. I did. It didn't come out of the party sheet. Hmm. Right. So I lowered my uh, gold. Yeah, I see that. Yours worked, but Elena's didn't. Yeah, there's a problem with the party sheet. Um, my gold total is not correct, and there's a gold total <laughs> under it with no name on it. That's my actual gold total, and it's in the silver also. Yeah. Five four oh six is you. It's yeah, they're all off by one. 
Bugs has my gold. I have 1209, but it says Bugs next to it on my version. No, so. it's Martin Jack's 1209, Bugs 1447. Oh, so it's after oh, okay. you. I get it. All right, so it's named. It's arm in 5406. Mine is correct then. Never mind. Right, for yeah. some reason, I just changed Elena's. And it's at 1,800. Yeah, instead of zero. Huh? Yeah, if you if you drag it from the right side, mm -hmm. it'll be bigger. I do apologize. I am crashing. We're almost done. Okay. We're not gonna go far much farther. How do we meet Mithril? That's right now at midnight. Let's get this right. And it's Mithras, not Mithril. I don't know. I think that this is also what you've gotten, and it doesn't necessarily always change. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll figure this out later. But, okay, so that's paid for, according to what's going on. I think that the party sheet is how much you've been given out, but it's not necessarily what you have on you at the time. Okay. All right. You get up there. Circle on the top. There's a septogram. Okay. Um. Elena is told to stand in the center. And the four of you are each given one. Of the points of right of the seven points two acolytes are given another point and a fairly large uh let me see barton roll a uh knowledge of some sort check how about investigation that's fine. Wrong button. I drag the shield down. Let's do perception, if that's better. Whichever you think is more appropriate for the situation. Well, no, that's fine. It's good enough. You believe it's a Goliath. Oh, I've heard of those. Yes. North, right? Right. He seems to have been one of the guards. He looked like he's got, you know, but I don't know. He's got big axe, kind of shirtless. He's standing at one of the points, too. Okay. The wizard goes into the center and ho is holding on to the rapier with Elena. Starts casting. Magic swells. After 10 minutes, you guys are, by the way, you guys are holding golden candlesticks, one in each hand, which one is burning with a blue light and the other is burning with a green light. But then it's not fire for some reason. The candlesticks start getting hot. Lines link from person to person throughout from these candlesticks to each other candlestick making a tremendous pattern of light of blue and green lights dancing here there everywhere the, then the dale's voice comes to a giant crescendo and there is a complete kaboom and you guys no longer see elena you no longer see dale you no longer see the rooftop There's the you guys, a couple of wizards, a Goliath standing in a jungle. What 
we're gonna end it there. <laughs> Mike, you're muted. Hashtag evil DM. <laughs> <laughs> Elena made it home. Flashback sure. lines. There's Dale standing there holding a rapier, going, Well, he's gone, he made it back. Oh shit, I lost Charlie. <laughs> he's he's holding the rapier. He's holding the rapier. <laughs> Didn't go with you. You were both holding it and just stayed yeah. there. Yep. So oh boy. for that we now erase Elena. Well from there we go to the party sheet. Well where we were four months ago. Okay, now you've got me with you. I thought we were trying to stay somewhere, not go somewhere random. I wasn't tied any place, as long as we can find a place to get rich and place to spend it. I thought I was just your tour guide. I didn't know I was going along for the journey. Neither did we. We didn't know we were going along for the journey. <laughs> you know, I was really tempted to take an ambush shot during the middle of that ceremony, but I nailed back. <laughs> That wizard would probably just turn around and disintegrate you. <laughs> okay. That looks good. And we will pick it up from there next week. Just so I know, is, or maybe we don't know, but is Mithras the, uh, the Goliath? Is that your new? Goliath. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you're basically a bodyguard of the of the of the house of knowledge. Yeah. Um. Uh, my name's Mithras the Small, and I'm eight foot ten. Eight foot. Oh, you're a, you're a small Goliath. Eight foot. Almost. Ten. I'm almost eleven foot. 